So air expands isentropically through a converging, diverging nozzle. So it goes like this, then like that. That's a bad looking nozzle, isn't it? I'm not sure what happened there. So like this, okay. Right here's the throat. And the throat area, and often use the asterisk for the critical pressure, critical temperature, that critical or throat area is three centimeters squared. It enters someplace right in here. It's, it's state one. And the Mach number at 1 is 0.2, the temperature at 1 is 330 Kelvin, and the pressure at 1 is 535 kPa. Assuming ideal gas behavior, good, because we can analyze it using those equations. Otherwise, those equations don't work for water. Water is a poor ideal gas, true? And K is equal to 1.4, which basically is saying constant specific heats which those analytic expressions were based on a constant K, constant specific heat. Remember those equations? So now they ask, what is the stagnation temperature? It's as if you're saying, I bring this flow one to rest, or think about it came from something back here at state zero, which was at rest, P naught and T naught, our big tank. So what is T naught? What is our stagnation temperature? Well, we unravel that equation that I won't flip back to show you, but it was T naught over T, T, where here I'm going to say T, I know it at state 1, so I'm going to say T at state 1 is equal to 1 plus K minus 1 divided by 2 to the Mach number at 1 squared. That equation that we quickly derived. So you plug in this value of T, 330 Kelvin, this value of Mach number, 0.1, square it, and you calculate the stagnation temperature, T naught. Is it going to be higher or lower than 330? Higher. 333 Kelvin. What about the stagnation pressure? P naught over P, where I evaluated it, 1 is equal to... 1 plus K minus 1 divided by 2 times M1 squared. Hey, that equation is exactly the same. Oops. Raised to the power K over K minus 1. P naught is higher or lower than 535 kilopascal. Which one? Higher. So it's 550 kilopascal. What is the exit area? Well, it exits over here at some state 2 where the Mach number is 1.5. True? So it's exiting at a Mach number of 1.5. You take a look at the area equation. Oh, did I show you the area equation? Or just, oh, here it is. Area divided by the throat area or the critical area, 1 over the Mach number, 2 over K plus 1. Hey, we're not done with that equation yet. 1 plus k minus 1 over 2 to the Mach number squared. Almost done. All of that raised to the k plus 1 power. Almost done. Don't stop yet. Divided by 2 to the k minus 1. Now, just look at that equation. Do you think it's going to be easy to rederive that? No. But we can use it knowing A star is 3 centimeters squared, and you calculate the area at the exit. The area at the exit 2, do you think it's larger or smaller than 3 centimeters squared? It's larger. It's going to be larger. 3.56 centimeters squared.